So your task this week is to start a new digital writer's notebook. And we're going to call it for short DWN. Um, it is something that we will be doing every time we come to lab for the first 10 minutes. Now we're switching at this point of the year from doing typing um, program practice because we're going to get into some real authentic typing where you have to do a journal entry. And this is your first journal entry. What is the perfect location for our classroom? It's done by um, another teacher I know. Um, and his um, source is linked down here if you're interested. Um, so the first thing I want you to do to set up your digital writer's notebook, I want you to go to your Google Drive and click on New, and you're going to go um, to Google Docs. Click a new Google Doc. And from here, you need to make sure you click on where it says Untitled Document, and we want to make sure we change that title. It's important you change it and name it um, correctly because um, that way we can find it when we want to um, see if you're, how your writing's going and how your typing's going. So you're going to name it uh, first with your um, first name, and you're going to call this Digital Writer's Notebook, and then click OK. All right. Now you also have to be sure that you change the share settings. And you know, I want you to click on the blue button that says share on the top right. And you can click get shareable link. And that unlocks it. And it makes it so that anyone with the link can view. Uh, if you'd like to share it with your teacher, you can. If I put um, Mrs. Huggins on here. Uh, but you know what you have to make sure you do? Uncheck the notify via email. Mrs. Huggins does not need to see 33 emails from all of you. Uh, saying that you shared it. Now we're going to have you share it in a Google form as well eventually um, because we want to collect them all in one spreadsheet but for now you can share it with your teacher this way and click OK. I'm going to skip sending invitations say OK and there it's done. Now we're going to do this in a really similar fashion to how we create these um, uh, you know lab lessons every week. We're going to have the date and uh, we'll start with that. So I'm just going to start off with uh, the date for when we're doing this. January 12th, I believe, is our date. Yes. And go ahead and put the year. We have to get used to typing 2015. And you can change the font and the size. Um, it's up to you. This is your writer's notebook. Uh, as long as you have some of these features that are the same, you want to change the font. But, you know, really, please do not spend too much time with fonts, and uh, that works. Maybe when you're done writing, then you can do that. Now, one other thing that I think would be nice each time you do your entry is if I post an image here for your entry, uh, you can, I'm going to click on this, but you can right-click on the image, and you can um, copy this image just by clicking control and click or on a, with a mouse right clicking. And you can come into your document and again control click and paste. Now the image is going to paste right onto your document. It's kind of nice to have your prompt right there so when you go back and read your uh, digital writer's notebook you can see what you were writing about. Now if this is too big, you want it smaller, click on the image and you can resize it. Uh, and then once you've got that going for you, uh, you can begin writing. And you are going to write this week about what is the perfect location for a classroom. And just begin typing as much as you want in this location. Uh, now next week, when you go to write again, you're going to go and uh, click return after the um, January so you can get your cursor at the top of the page. And this is really important that you um, pay attention to this part because I want you to go to um, uh, view... Oh, look, I always have to look for this. Uh, we're going to do a page break. So you're going to go to insert. When your cursor is at the very top of the page um, up here, you're going to go to insert page break. And what that does is it moves uh, your work down to the next page. And then I would come up to the top. And um, the next time you write, uh, let's say you do it right away. Maybe you're going to write later this week or in um, the following week, whatever day you decide to write. You're going to put the next date and either you can just write on your own um, or you could put the next week's image if there's an image that we'll be writing to. I'll probably post um, one of Mr. Spencer's images every week in this location and say that it's digital writer's notebook time. 
Um, that is how you are going to be completing your digital writer's notebook and can't wait to see the progress you make.